fluffy. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a bubble at the back of my throat. I hate that one. Okay, Fluffy is a West London uh, uber femme quartet. They've been around for about a year. Their first video was directed by Floria Sigismondi, who also directed a lot of the videos, including Marilyn Manson's Beautiful People. Now, the gals from Fluffy have a very specific sense of style. They're kind of like a cross between Shirley Temple and uh, total uber feminist terrorist Valerie Solanus. They're going to be uh, featured in the July issue of Details Magazine in a fashion spread. Here's Fluffy. Once you've proved yourself as an all-girl band, then it gets easier, but that process seems to take quite a long time. You know, it's been hard for us in England to prove ourselves, and, you know, we've sort of had to pay our dues. The hate us in England. They're not used to women yeah. in the music industry so much in England, you know. They find it really hard to deal with, whereas in America or in Canada, there's, you know, there's more all-girl all bands around, and they just, mm -hmm. it's nothing new to them, and they're not surprised by it, they're not thrilled by it. They rock as well, and yeah. like rock has no place in England. Like it's really like you know just indie kind of jangly guitar pop. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We don't fit into that, so they slag us off all the time. So you do what he says, but you're hating inside. Do what he says, but you're waiting inside. I mean, you know, we're really strong women, and we've got an attitude. And if that, you know, that's good for women, and it encourages other women. But we're a band, and we play music, and you know. You just don't know if you're a feminist or not, do you? Like, I don't know. Well, I don't chain myself to green and common and, and like shave my head and wear big boots, but, you know, she we are strong women. Well, I, I, just, I just don't know what the definition <laughs> of it is now. They're really growing at the moment. at any second with us and it practically and it always <laughs> does. over at any point. That's a beat of our shows. shows. Or yeah. Someone could jump off stage and beat up a few There's people. There's always an edge. Someone <laughs> could just happen to jump off stage and beat somebody yeah, up, someone huh? Someone like Amanda could. You would never be caught dead in it. the um, last three, four, five it's gigs. A it's, a it's a bit of a theme of don't the tour. Don't stand near the front if you come to one of our shows. You can stand if in the front, but don't say anything <laughs> rude to me. Yeah. Thing, you know, a lot of people they come to a show and they sort of shout stuff and they don't really think about it. And because you're on stage, they think like, yeah, and they're in the audience, like they're untouchable. And yeah, you some know, if somebody walked don't... up to me like in the street and said that I'd punch them, and just because I'm on stage, it's not going to make some any difference. Some people just don't have any respect, to what I mean. Which one was it? Beautiful that, people. The Beautiful People video that Marilyn Manson did and we just totally loved it. And, and she's so cool. Once yeah. you meet her as well and it's really nice having a woman do it as well. Yeah. yeah. Especially because of, you know, what the song's about. That song's about domestic violence. And uh, the, I just, I had that experience as a child. So it's something I really wanted to write about and get in a song and kind of sum up and, you know, play to my mum. So I did it. It was therapy for me to do. I think, oh, really? uh, yeah. Really? I think every woman should do it. Um, it's, it just made me look at. I, I guess everybody. Well, I don't want to get too personal now, do I? <laughs> but I guess every woman. If you haven't, if you haven't um, experienced physical abuse, you've definitely experienced some kind of verbal or even just some kind of mental abuse. I think from being just being. Society. Yeah, and it's hard and. Um, and it was very therapeutic for me. I think I, I worked a lot of things out by doing it because wow. you actually got it out into a, some kind of art form instead mm -hmm. of just, you know, thinking it and complaining to your friends about it. You will never see me cry. I write things very directly because it's the way I am. Like, if someone upsets me, then I'll just go and punch them. And with lyrics, I'm in the set. It's the same way. It's like, I just try and be really direct. And I guess, you know, a lot of things happen to me in my life. and. I just tend to write directly from experience or, you know, I, I see what the band are experiencing and I just, you know, I just write about that. I think if you, if you try and write about something that you don't know anything about, it just looks really um, sort of uh, false and really contrived. So I try and make everything really real so that if somebody asks me a question, so what are your lyrics about, I don't have to talk rubbish.